What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to go back to this same Gigapan as well as NASA photos to solve 1450. Why, you might ask? Well, there's so much in this photo to see that it's just blatant almost that there's absolutely proof of intelligent life that was on this planet. Now, let's go back to the Gigapan we did in the last video right here guys there's so much in this photo to see it's mind-boggling what we're going to do this time is you're going to slide all the way to the right of this and you're going to end up way over here at the end all right now let's have a look at this this is what i think is funny before i show it to you i'll have people come on some trolls come on going oh man this guy's delusional it's just rocks just rocks well this may change your mind probably not but you'll see what i'm talking about let's zoom way into this can someone please tell me what that is I see that and I see a mechanical or stone structure or part of a stone structure, right? Look at the way this thing is designed. Look at this thing. Now, is it possible that it's a manipulation, meaning there's something under this and they just put this funky texture on top of it? That's a great possibility. When you look closely at this thing, you can see what look like brighter colored or whatever they are, arches. But look at the shape of this thing, right? Going over like this. The other piece is down here. And you can see right here, there's another piece to it sticking right here. Come on, guys. You can see like one, two, three, what look like docker holes. Come on. Let's slide over to here as well. Look at this thing. It looks like some kind of weird dome thing. And what's funny is you can see this openings right here. It looks like it's slightly docker here, slightly docker here. But anyway, it's in a rectangular docker area. And to the left of that, it looks like some kind of weird opening as well, a hole or something. But... Here's another thing that's pretty bizarre. Look, check this out. Go down here. It almost looks like this weird piping that has a smooth 90 degree angle right here. And it has these what look like these lines in it. And I'm going to enhance that a little bit better for you guys. Check this out. Come on, guys. What rocks do this stuff? It's like there's so much detail in here, but what they're doing is they're literally covering this stuff up. Um, and that's why you get that weird kind of like you can see detail, but it's smudged over, right? This whole area right here, all this smooth... Right here, that's actually got objects in it, okay? And I'm going to do my best to bring this stuff out for you guys, but come on. Right off the bat, what is that? And you got something else over here that has this weird, see this rounded piece right here? And it's got this flat bottom to it? Yeah. Guys, just look at this Gigapan closely. My God, the stuff you see in here is amazing. This big thing coming right out of this. Even if we don't know what the hell this is, you can see it's white. Right here, it's got this like V-shape cutout. And it's white. And then all of a sudden, completely manipulated. But look at the bottom of this said rock, this giant rock, supposedly, right, sticking out. Why does it have a rectangular opening? Look at the 90-degree angle. Let me go ahead and open this all the way up here for you guys. Look at this 90-degree angle right here. It has a rectangular cutout in this so-called rock. Okay? But look at the lines closely. Comes down like this. Comes over. Was a cross over here. Again, guys, use your magnifiers, right? There's just so much more. All right, let's go into Photoshop and have a better look at this. All right, here's the photo itself. We're just going to zoom in. Let's go ahead and get some of the pukey color off. Okay. There it is right there. Now, we started to blast through this garbage right here. All this so-called smooth area. See that? And what's funny about it is you can see like parts of like detail and the rest of it is completely mushed out. Why? Because there's even more stuff to see. See this right here, this white area? This whole piece right here, there's something right here, but there's much more. You just got to look at the different parts. To me, it looks all jumbled up and for good reason it, because it's manipulated and obfuscated. But some of the things, like I said, like this weird looking pipe thing, has this round piece, and then this line, a line, and this weird kind of little, you know, detail right here. See it? Come on. Look at that. I think that's awesome. You know, the more you see in these things, the more you just go, what is going on? And guys, I have at least two or three other videos to do just on this one uh, Gigapan. Um, stuff that's just like, it'll have you scratching your head. Why are these things, like that thing, right on the surface... Of Mars. Please tell me why. Does that look natural to anybody? Clearly that's not a regular rock. 
Now, is it possible it was something intelligently made and it's now encrusted because of sitting there? Good possibility. Here's another thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. This is kind of like old news, but it isn't. Not everybody has seen this. Now, check this out. Let's zoom into over here. And now, this is the lower pan. See, there's the one we were just looking at. The lower pan. Now, let's go into this photo right here. I want you guys to see this. This is cool. It looks like a concrete rectangular block that's been blasted apart right here. You can see the corner. And it looks like it might have been encrusted rebar or something to that effect. See that? Come on. Look at that. Is that crazy or what, guys? Something else right here. Look at this. Something coming off of this. But look how this piece right here connecting from here to here. Look at this nice smooth round, almost like corner. Comes over and connects to this rock. It looks like it goes into these pieces. And you can see some fudging going on right here. It's pretty decent detail there. And then all of a sudden it just looks more fudged out right here. See that white right there? That's actually the object. Or it's something that's embedded in this thing, right? Yeah, I'm going to just say that's not natural. And of course, you guys can always be the judge, right? And like I said, I've got another one coming up after this one. I've got some moon stuff coming up as well. So you guys can check that out. And like I said, if you guys haven't subbed to the new Lunar Anomalies and Beyond sister page to this page, uh, please do so. You'll find the link. I'll drop the link down there. You guys can check it out. It'll be in the my pin post as always. And uh, at the top of the uh, comment section there, right? Anyway, guys, tell me what you think this is. Like I said, go right here to this pan like we did last time. Back way out. And that's where it is on the very right-hand side of this thing. Here is the link to it. You can find it right here. It is official NASA JPL. There you go, 1450. And it is the mass cam. And you can see it right there. If we zoom into that. There you go. There's the official photo. What you guys know you will get. You'll get the Gigapan again as well, as well as my Lunar Anomalies and Beyond. You guys can sub to that, please. Um, and then go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll get the uh, next upcoming uh, moon videos, right? All right, guys. I'm going to jump out of this. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment and your thoughts below. And don't forget to like and please share the video. People need to see this stuff. I think it's just wild. And this next couple videos I'm going to show you, uh, there's going to be... This same Sol, as well as some other Mars stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, let me jump on out of here. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.